Hello everyone. Okay, so this is my uh, titled my uh, a destruction AR wing flying to destruction, and that's basically you know what I've done with it. And you know, don't get me wrong, uh, this is the way you know I, I like to learn how to fly. Everyone's going to have their own little way. I Me, mean, I just like to get out there, just keep flying about, and just keep pushing it, and you learn quite a bit. So on the left hand side. Um, if I remember rightly, this is the final flight with this aircraft. Um, yeah, on the left-hand side, the big screen. And then on the right-hand side, uh, what we got is um, just a whole bunch of clips, top right, of the crashes. Now, these are not all the crashes. It's just, I didn't want to run a video for like 19 minutes or anything. Um, and I wanted to use like the last flight as, you know, as, as the last one. So uh, on the left-hand side. Now, what can I tell you about this, this, this wing? It's great. As you can see down the bottom, look, you know, I've, I've wrecked this thing. In the end, the, uh, the further down the right hand side of this wing got absolutely ripped off, and that's why I couldn't put it back together again. Because it, it was just flapping about too much then. Um, but up until that point, I mean, this thing had, I think it was like four nasty, nasty tear aparts, and it's still with a bit of Yoo Hoo glue, a bit of that weave tape you can bang it back together again and the great thing about it as well is when I took off near enough all the tape not all the tape because there's still a little bit left on the fuselage and I, I couldn't bother to rip off and around the mount uh, the, the, the motor housing but when I weighed up what I, what I took off the wings what I'd taken off the wings um, the 57 sorry 47.7 grams 47.7 grams of tape now, I did start flying this first with a camera, oof, that hurt, with a camera mounted in the nose, a GoPro, I smashed my GoPro to pieces, I broke one lens, I reordered another, I didn't change the LCD screen even though it was damaged after the first hit, uh, but I have got another one now so I can do a change of that screen, uh, and it, you know, that's, you're talking a camera that costs four times more than the wing. So I realise that's a bit of a daft idea, especially if you're a learner. Don't get me wrong, you've been flying these things for a long time and you're quite happy with your launches and your landings, fine. But if you're just getting into this and you want to be flying around, don't stick a GoPro in the front. You don't actually need it in there anyway for the weight because at this minute in time, and I'll do a video after this video about my setup because I don't have a HD camera in there. I've just got, what I've done now is I've put my um, FPV camera just in the nose. And I've reinforced the nose with some good light but firm foam. So rather than the nose just getting smashed in the way it does, um, now there's, there's going to be quite a bit to it to hold it in. I don't use, like you can see the the um, video transmitter on the left hand side there and the camera. I don't use that um, video transmitter with a big antenna on anymore. I just put a little tiny IPEX linear antenna uh, because if you do land top down there's a good possibility, depending on what you land on, you're going to rip that antenna out, so you're going to rip part of your cabling out. If you come down hard, like I do in some of these, um, you know, these top right videos, you'll rip the wings off, you'll pull your cables out. Um, the, the server you can't do anything about, but in the way I've set it up now, I've got everything inside, apart from, I put a very cheap, it's the BT-03 Esheen video transmitter, with the linear antenna just on the wing and I've not glued in the cables or anything I've I used the soldering iron just to cut a, a sort of trench so I can lay the cables in and what it means now is like I found out because I've already broken the new frame um, is that the cabling just popped out the video transmitter popped out and nothing was damaged no no um, antennas were ripped off I didn't lose me before me 16 pound when I bought it 14 pound now luminaire stubby um, you know because I just lost that with the um, with the cable in the field so and I've decided now you know you put 45 pound transmitter in one of these things when you're just learning um, look out on the left hand side see that running across there uh, yeah uh, and then yeah you can lose you know you can damage the video transmitter so much especially the ones that um, 
you can just rip the pads off the video transmitter. So I've, did, I've decided everything stays in the middle. Yes, the transmitter still goes out in the wing slightly, but I've set it up with wires that will just pop out the wing if the wing comes apart or breaks. And so it's not really going to do too much damage. And it's only a, it's only a £10 video transmitter, which compared to some of the others isn't too much of a loss. So yeah, um, fantastic, honestly fantastic. Flying these things has been a fantastic laugh. You know, even though decent landings coming like that, but it can't wield over. Uh, I'm absolutely, you know, loving it. It's different to a mini quad, and the main difference is you are continuously in your fast forward flight. You're continuously in forward flight, which is um, means there's no real room for a, a lot of errors, especially when you start coming in quite low. But it is so much fun. I'm going to swap out, like I said, I don't have a HD camera at the moment, I've, I've just fitted a Cadex um, 1200 TV lines, just see what it's like, but I do, what I want to be able to do is buy a, I don't know, Runcam Split, Hawkeye, you know, because they've got the, uh, the HD, but they're the size of the little tiny cameras, so I can fit that in the front, I don't have to bother them with a, a big bulky heavy um, HD camera. Because, like I say, you know, I, I damaged up my GoPro so much, it's it's just not worth sticking one in the front. And like I say, you don't need to have that weight in the front to have it all balanced out. I've got a um, Brother Hobby R3, Returnal R3, on the back of my wing, nice and light, 28 grams, with a nice light dowel prop, 60-40 prop now, and it flies nice. It really does fly nice. Um, you can't really see it in any of these videos because these videos you know we've all got the tape and as you can see look see how it's taped up in the images down below and you can see there's tape around the motor now this is because it had another accident um i didn't take photos i didn't do a lot of video of the accidents i was too keen just to get the thing back up in the air we get very limited time in this country for decent weather you know where it's like pretty uh, four or five mile an hour winds six mile an hour winds it's normally a little bit more than that and it makes for quite turbulent flying a lot of the time so it's just nice to be able to get a couple of days where you can actually get some flying in so you know idea is just quickly slap it back together again um, and just chuck it back up in the air because that's all you want it's just practice 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 now of course the way it is now is down the bottom bottom right except for where the white foam is in where the normal FPV camera would go I've now got black foam in there so you can't it doesn't really stick out so much as you can see, there's nothing on the wing. See this? Whoa, bush. They're the ones that sort of trash it. Those sort of things. They do not they don't have to muck it up. Um, yeah, but as you can see, there's no tape or anything now because I'm not flying in the field. If you see in the field, actually, in that meadow part there on the top right, that's fine. But in the field here, it's all um, this almost like bamboo, but not. And at one stage, you know, I was I'd earlier got my shorts on, I was running across this field and was scratching up my legs quite badly. But uh, we we got to do that, but we're not flying here anymore now because the farmers asked us not to. In not so many words. Um, yeah, but it's absolutely fantastic. Honestly, this AR wing, I can't believe, one, that it took so much abuse and it was so uh, easy to fix. Now, the things that I did get through on it uh, were servos. Okay, so the first surveys, well, they went pretty quickly anyway. Whoosh, bounce. Um, then I put in a couple of hextronics, and then I had a turner jigs when the hextronics um, failed on a crash. Uh, but now I've got a couple of uh, Emacs ES2s, I think they are, the Metal Gear jobbies, and I have not managed to damage these yet, but then I've not had, well, I've only had one sort of. Uh, crash wear because the, the wing that you can see down the bottom now is the new frame but that's actually had the wing ripped off um, when I hit a goalpost because I've been flying between the goalposts of course these things are going to happen and the only way you're going to learn how to fly like that in a way is to actually do it but I don't have big air, air gates or anything so I've got to use goalposts I think what it will do if uh, maybe not having the big air gates is just um, make me fine tune my flying a little bit quicker yeah, maybe that's the uh, way you're looking at it. But thoroughly enjoyable. This is definitely, oh, this was a bad smash. Even though it doesn't look too terribly bad, that, that was quite bad. Now, these ones in the black and white, this is using the Eagle, um, uh, Night, Night Eagle. 
and as you can see look it's flying around 54% throttle just keeping it 54% it'll fly around that black and white and you just wait there we go buff we got a reboot we got a reboot but I've, I I didn't really know what was going on and I was talking to my mate at the same time and I didn't really get real geared to just take over this thing <laughs> this is funny look at that nice and focused and then whoa what's going on <laughs> the lens is loose I don't know why I've never played around with the lens on this maybe I've knocked it by accident or something or maybe the glue's just cracked and yeah, but this can happen. It's one one of the things that you need to just be aware of. These things can happen. Like I say, I mean that that just went out with a focused lens, and it's coming back in with. I can't see anything. But we're down. We're good. Now this one here again, and the black and white, and there's the uh, the night eagle is not the dominating factor in this. Uh, we're up 100% throttle here, 21 amps from a 30 amp ESC, and bang, we're out of power again. This time, it didn't reset the camera, as you can tell, because we didn't go through that. But I sort of caught it this time, and even though we're at 50% throttle there, because I've not dropped it down, um, as you can see, it's saying 0.9. It normally that that should mean more like like 0.3 and a half four, um, but it's more accurate when you're going up in the current. I put it on my meter, and. Um, yeah, that, that's, that's not right. So the, the one that was on the left-hand side there, that's uh, that was the finish off of that. And just to show you, it wasn't all bad landings, even on a real windy day. Oh, we still get it in. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. The wing's a great wing. Buy it if you like it.